Well, hey, McFly subscribers. So I'm driving this RV and my first uh, oopsies uh, happened. So it is super windy, by the way. Like literally cars are being blown on the road. It's hard to keep this thing um, positioned. It's actually like the windiest I've ever driven in. Um, not even like RV, just like even car. Worst I've ever driven in with the wind. It's 45 mile an hour winds. Um, so I checked on the phone, it says like 25, but then there's gusts of uh, much, much more than that. It's gotta be 40. Um, super, super windy. Um, I watched a like pretty stable looking 16 year old girl get knocked on her butt from the wind. Like literally it knocked her over. That's how bad the wind is. It's a dangerous drive right now and it's kind of freaking me out. But, so I stopped at a McDonald's just to grab some food because I wanted to get off the road for a little bit and rest because I'm exhausted from driving. And I opened up the, the door here to um, get out and literally the wind pulled the door out of my hand. I almost fell out of the car and it shoved the door open really hard. And when it did, it bent the hinges and then I couldn't close it. And finally I got it closed after some force, but now it won't reopen. Um, that's it. As you can see, I am can't push it open. Now it's too windy for me to go out there and talk at the camera, but I'm gonna walk out really quick and take a quick picture of it, but <sighs> hopefully it's not too expensive. I called a body shop and they said, yeah, we'll probably have to replace the door. I have no clue what that's gonna cost. If any of you guys know, let me know. I called my insurance. Hopefully they take care of it because we're kind of to the wire right now with my, uh, funds after just buying this thing. I've got to get out on that side, so I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna get out on that side. Take a quick picture, show you guys. So I'm not sure if you guys can hear me, but that vent. And it, it catches. It just won't even open. Sorry, it's a little dark in here, but anyway. So that happened. Told you guys I would take you along the way. But, <laughs> yeah. Fun. Fun times. Fun times. <sighs> so... I better get back on the road. It's already three o'clock. I'm not even close. I've got like seven more hours of driving that I wanted to do today, but it didn't happen. I have to go like 30 or 40 on the highway to be able to stay on the road because it's blowing me everywhere. Even cars, like regular cars. This isn't even a motorhome. Regular cars are literally being blown all over. Um, and I'm, you know, trying desperately to stay in the lane. And it's not very really easy, so. I'm gonna have to probably call this a day short and stop somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna get as far as I can, but I mean, it's supposed to be blowing like this tomorrow too. And I gotta get home in Colorado. I'm not even close. I just left like four hours ago, um, five hours ago in Napa. And uh, cause I had to wait for the windshield to be fixed cause it was cracked. And they were doing that for me for free, but I didn't get to leave super early, and uh, yeah, so might have to stop, excuse me, at a RV park and sleep for a little while, and then try to leave super early in the morning, maybe two or three, and head on the road and try to get, uh, I'm going to park this where we're going, and then go rent a car, go pick up the family, my wife will drive, I'll drive the rental car, and come back, that's the plan, anyway. Well, I told you I'd bring you guys along. Through the good and bad. Reality show here, guys. Reality. All right. See ya. Go catch fish, guys. <laughs>